Hey everybody, it's uh, Truck Turner 68 coming to you alive again. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I, I just like to thank everybody, my new subscribers. You know, I have about 178 subscribers now. I had um, um, gained quite a few uh, subscribers over the past uh, uh, three months, I believe. And I uh, thank you guys for, for subscribing. Uh, I think the most popular video I have is my uh, video about uh, Tales from the Hood. And uh, I actually made the video, and you know, I just wanted to share some things, you know, some common sense thing, I guess. One of the guys commented on the video that I had some common sense real life experience, and I do have some real life experience, and you know, we might incorporate some um, common sense here and there because some of the stuff that I did when I was younger didn't include any common sense. You know, a lot of the places I went did not. Um, did not warrant me being there. I shouldn't have went there. It wasn't worth being there. And uh, but of course, you know, being young and you know, you don't want to be locked in the house 24/7. I went, you know, and and because you know, like I told, I tell young young bucks that I, I talked to, you know, on occasion when I was a chaplain in prison, I tell them, look, a gun is not your passport. Just because you have a gun does not make it safe for you to go somewhere because you know other people have guns, and usually goes like downs like this you know you basically you shoot they shoot back you know if they don't have a gun they call 911 and you, if they don't have a gun there's no reason for you to actually pull the gun out in the first place because you're supposed to use your hands but anyway um i just want to uh share with you guys one day i'm going to get one of those go cams so i can drive around i'm going to show you um how to drive with uh when you have your seal carry what license of course legally and you have a gun in the car and you're in a bad neighborhood. I'm gonna tell you, show you how to avoid um, getting carjacked. You know, a lot of people. You know, I, I've been attempted carjack before. Uh, I've seen people get carjacked. You know, um, and it's just, it's just really a simple thing to do. I don't have a camera to put on my dashboard right now, but I'll tell you. I can tell you right now what you do is what you do is one simple rule. It's gonna help you a lot is always make sure when you pull up behind somebody uh, at a stop sign or a stoplight make sure that you can see their tires on the ground that right there will make sure that you can turn off and get around them if, even if you have to run up on a curb or if you have to make a ue when somebody's coming at your car to carjack because usually carjacker what he'll do is he try to get in your blind side you know this, like this window right here what he'll try to do is like I have a four door truck so what he'll do is he'll come where you, you can't see him on the side view mirror or you know you, your blind spot so they'll rush up in that blind spot you know and you won't see them till the last second so you want to keep it like the cops I hear cops say keep your head on swivel you know especially in a bad neighborhood it's worth it just keep your head with swivel just keep checking your mirrors you know look around see who's hanging on the corner you know, a lot of times carjackers, they basically hide behind cars. You know, they'll be standing, but then they'll see a nice car coming or whoever they want to victimize. And they'll just basically lay down on the ground next to a car. You won't be able to see them. So even if you don't see anything in a bad neighborhood, it's, it's just good, a good practice, a good idea just to keep your head on swivel because that's what they do. You know, years ago, I knew some stick-up boys, and what they would do is they would actually lay down next to a car on the sidewalk, and they do exactly that. You know, say they were very smart and very cunning, especially the older ones who had been doing it for years. You know, the young bucks, they kind of stupid. They get a little high. They get some beer in them or something like that. And they'll basically, oh, let's go carjack. So, duh, you know, oh, yeah, let's do it, dude, whatever. But there are some older, experienced carjackers out there that are very strategic in everything they do. So one way to beat that is just keep your head on swivel, you know, situational awareness. Um, basically when you come to the stop sign make sure you have a way out you know and you can see those tires on the ground because if you can see the car tires in front of you on the ground from your from where you're sitting in your car you have enough room to just whip out of there really fast without hitting that car you know and that's what you want to be able to do uh, also you know um, hmm let me see uh, I mean more stories I can't really think of anything right now, but when I, you know, I kind of try to block those stories out because, you know, what I, I've been through is kind of stressful, you know, 
like when I after I did that video on uh, Tales from the Hood, just like uh, I mean I, I became so anxious and paranoid again. <laughs> you know, I, I was carrying two guns for like a month and just just remind just floods back memories of how actually you know how area could look very peaceful, but in in fact it could be very evil. You know, it, it's you just gotta prepare yourself. You know, you carry. Um, every day even if you have to say okay this heavy gun you know like like for me myself I'm carrying a Smith & Wesson uh, model number 36 the chief special right now all the time because I get tired of carrying my Glock or my uh, Beretta or my 357 or something because they're just plain heavy you know and my 38 it just makes me feel as though you know hey it's light uh, it doesn't drag down my pants it doesn't do anything like that you know, and I carry a appendix style or Mexican style, you know, now because of the simple fact that people, you know, I was talking to my buddy owns a barbershop in the hood. And he was saying that last time he saw somebody get robbed, they're checking your waist, you know, like your side for your cell phone. You know, so now if, even if you're carrying at five o'clock, you're carrying at three o'clock, you know, these guys are actually, you know, they got the gun to you and all that. You know, if you say if you were coming out of a bar with your family or a restaurant, you had a few drinks, you, you're not really thinking about actually uh, creating problems or getting problems because you're having fun. You want to enjoy your life, you know, and uh, you come out and, you know, they got a gun to you and they, they check your waist. They got your gun. They got your carry piece, you know, so I switched to an appendix carry. You know, and then from time to time I do uh, five o'clock or whatever. But you know, you just have to be careful out here. Situational awareness is the most important thing you, you can do, man. Because I'm telling you, you got to see these jokers coming. Because if you don't, they'll catch you sleep, and then they may put you to sleep permanently. So this is uh, Scott, A.K.A. Trump Turner. Jesus is risen. You know, uh, just saying hello, to everybody. Hope everybody being safe. You know. And um, uh, thank God for you guys that are working for the Second Amendment rights that keep uh, pushing in the NRA, you know, that just keep pushing these ma magnificent laws all throughout the country. You know, I feel sorry for you guys over there in Jersey. But you guys, you know, just keep fighting. Don't give up. Hopefully one day, you know, you get a governor or, or some senators in there to actually understand that the Second Amendment right applies to all people of race, color, creed, and nationality in the United States of America that are citizens, or even non-citizens with a green card. You know, so um, with that, somebody's calling me, who is this? I have no idea. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, I'll kiss, catch them later, leave a message. I'll be back later. But uh, anyway, you know, uh, you know, uh, I haven't bought any new guns lately. I just, you know, me and my wife were trying to have some goals, so you know, no time to spend extra money or anything. Uh, that we, you know, we're trying to meet some goals and stuff like that. We want to move south. Yes, we want to move to Virginia. Yes, I've been applying for employment in Virginia. Had some uh, uh, phone interviews. Yes, uh, I want to relocate down south. Yes, my dream, my life dream, is to move. Down south, Virginia, North Carolina, wherever. You know, I just want to be in a more gun-friendly gun culture. You know, even though Pennsylvania is very gun-friendly. But I just want to be in a, a slower pace. You know, not to say people from Virginia are slow, because they're not. People down south are not slow, but they're nicer. See, people from North Jersey and North, uh, like, Pennsylvania and all that, they call the south slow because you guys are nice. I don't call you slow. I call you nice. You know, you, you guys have uh, civility. There's little to none left up here. And I want to get away from that as fast as possible because I'm getting older. And just like my father said, the older you get, you have less patience for nonsense. And I am developing less patience for nonsense. I'm 46 years old, and I'm starting to feel that. And, I, you know, I, I'm a Christian. You know, be angry and sin not. I practice what the, the Bible says because I'm trying to be holy like Jesus Christ is holy. But so on, on some days, it's rough, you know, and I'm tired of experiencing that, you know. And, uh, you know, when I visit friends and family down in Virginia, you know, every you go out to eat, everybody's friendly, everybody's smiling. You know, everybody's got time to talk to you. I, I like to talk to people. I like, I, you know, I have many interests. 
You know, I've, I've had many occupations, you know, and I can pretty much talk to anybody from, uh, I used to drive a track trail across country. Simple as that. And now I have a master's degree. I'm a, a therapist. So, you know, I mean, it's so many things that I can talk to people on different levels. I used to dig ditches, you know. I don't have, you know, I don't, please. You know, I love people, you know, but up here you can't exercise that part. I can't exercise that part of my personality in the Northeast because people are just plain ignorant and rude. It's just like you go get your car fixed, you sit in the waiting room, there's 10 people in the waiting room. They, they'll look down at their device or they'll read the newspaper before they even say hello to anybody. I, I just don't understand it. I really don't. But it's, it's all good, you know, to each his own, but it's not for me. It's to, and my wife. My wife is the same way. She's a very friendly, godly Christian, beautiful woman, you know, woman of God, who I pray for, you know, you know, thank God for her. And uh, we want to move south. So even if you guys know anybody's hiring for a therapist or somebody that works with autistic children, uh, that's me. You know, I'm qualified to get licensed and was a qualified mental health professional in Virginia. I have more than enough experience, but well, uh, look at me. Yo, this is go turn the YouTube into career builders, yo. I need a job. <laughs> yeah, let me stop that. But uh, you know, um, but uh, you know, I just I just thank God for uh, opportunity to to make it down south. You know, what I'm saying I want some land. I want some. I want to shoot up and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it give me a little range up on it. You know, and uh, uh yeah. Um, other than that, Tales from the Hood, you know, I have, I have a few other ideas that I want to put out there, but I got to figure out how I want to uh, present them to you guys, you know, um, so other than, you know, like driving, you know, in the hood, avoiding carjacking, you know, it's other things, you know, it's another video on my channel. I don't think people really looked at because I, I actually, it was something about, uh, I believe, I forgot what it was, but it has a, a picture of a menorah. And an altar. That's my altar that I pray at and, you know, read my Bible at and everything. And I don't think people have been looking at it because they probably think it's some type of religious video. You know, say, I am a, I am a Christian. You know, I'm a conservative Christian. You know, Republican. And, but that video is not about religion. You should check it out because it's pretty good. I think it was uh, Strong Arm Robbery. That was the name of the video. You should check it out. Really, really. Check it out. Because it's, it's pretty good. Um, uh pretty good and you guys might enjoy it you know um i just you know pray for you guys again in the name of jesus lord god just give uh, my viewers protect them their families you know bless them spiritually physically financially lord god it's hard times in this world right now in the name of jesus i pray amen i also pray for your salvation because i'm telling you there is no god except jesus christ and all these other ones they're fake counterfeits wooden nickels you know, they are. You know, you can get mad at me all you want, but, you know, you, you take that up with Jesus Christ. You pick up the Bible, you read it, you don't understand it. You go find a pastor that can explain it to you or shoot me some messages. You got all these little questions. You know, I know it's a lot of funky questions that the world puts out here about Horace and all that. You know, oh, the Madonna is Horace and all that. Well, dude, check out Genesis where he talks about uh, how uh, Horace's mother is actually Nimrod's wife. Or well, check out Isaiah where... It actually says that uh, God was going to um, destroy the queen of heaven, which is Horace's mother, Tammuz, you know. So, you know, all that stuff is just answerable. You know, you just got, like the Bible says, study and show thyself approved. But then, you know, like I said, that particular video is not a religious video. Check it out because I know that offends a lot of people nowadays. But I really don't care if you're offended about Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ is God. You could be offended in that last day when he, you know, you see that white throne of judgment. But um, I don't care. But I'm just telling you, watch the video because it has some important information about carrying a gun and strong arm robbery. You know, and what to do when you go up and you know, might have to get some gas up in the, in the hood. You know, and you might have to go into the store because your credit card, you know, you know, the credit card machine on the, the gas pump don't work. You know, what do you, what do you do when you go into the store and your credit card thing don't work? But half of you probably stopped viewing the video by now because of the fact that I mentioned Jesus Christ. But, oh well. But God bless all of you. 